Hey guys, JJ back here. This time to give you a free pick for Phillies versus Rockies. Uh, Zach Eflin versus Kyle Freeland. Game's going to be played April 18th, 840 Eastern. Seeing the line right now, Rockies plus 102, total 10.5. Uh, as I record this, the Pirates are tied in the ninth. Uh, if we squeeze the win, we move to 13-3 and three on the channel. Uh, with a loss, we will be 12-4. and four. Uh, Nice little sweat there, of course, right after a video that I do where I say I most certainly do not enjoy sweats. Um, now, you've heard all year, at least to date, about the Rockies' struggles with their bats. Um, but uh, look who came to light their last uh, little two-game series against the Padres. Um, Rockies compiled five runs and eight runs, um, totaling 20 hits. Um, and now come back home to their fun-filled Thin Air Park. This team is filled with streaky bats, um, and they came alive in a pitcher's park against two good arms. Now, I want to mention that I don't believe the best price you can get will be plus 102. Uh, the public loves this Phillies team, and, and deservedly so. I mean, they got a ton of big names um, and a ton of big bats, obviously. But the value is here with the Rockies as a dog. Now, uh, did I mention that uh, Kyle Freeland, their ace, is going to be on the hill? Now, a rocky start to the year for Freeland, no pun intended, but he has tremendous home numbers. Um, he had tremendous home numbers last year at Coors, uh, which is nearly impossible to do um, in that ballpark. Home ERA of 2.4 last year. And while I don't necessarily expect him to shut down this Phillies lineup, because uh, that'd be a little crazy to expect in this spot, I do expect him to most certainly keep his team in it. Uh, Phillies come, or the Phillies will be bringing on Zach Eflin, uh, who, similar to Freeland, has home road splits where he's much better at home. Um, the thing is he, here that uh, Zach Eflin will be on the road, um, and Freeland, of course, is on his home field now. Eflin's ERA um, last year was 5.62 versus 3.3 at home. Uh, to start the year, he's had similar road woes as he most recently just got trampled by the Marlins in his last start. Uh, Eflin also rocks a robust 9.2 career ERA versus the Rockies. Hasn't been in the league that long, so it's not like that's all that relevant. I mean, uh, not all that relevant. You know, it's not like he's been a guy who's been in the league 15 years where Struggled early, and now he doesn't. I mean, he's only been in the league three, four years. Uh, so, you know, definitely has his struggles with the Rockies. And look, overall, I like the Rockies' bats to show here. And, uh, you know, Freeland to do enough to keep his bats in it. You know, Blackman's story, uh, Arenado, they have decent numbers against Eflin as, as well. So, like that if you're a BVP truther, stick that in there. Now, you would you would think I'd like the over here, assuming that Eflin's going to get hit up. Freeland's probably good for a few runs himself. But with the total of 10, at 10.5, I'm certainly not drooling over it. I would expect this to move to 11 uh, because people always get always get all mouth watery when they see a, a total of ten and a half with two good when a good offense comes to Colorado. But again, you got two decent pitchers. I mean, F1 is just his road woes are awful, but he's got good stuff. Um, so, but I'll tell you, if you like the over better early, I would expect that line to move to eleven. Um, and I also do expect Philly, this Philly line, to move a bit as well, uh, where the Rockies become a little bit of a bigger underdog than they currently are. So maybe wait on it, sit, maybe you can get plus 105, plus 110. Uh, I have the Rockies listed at minus 110 for this game. Again, bats are coming alive. you got Freeland, their ace on the hill, um, who's had a little bit of a slow start, but it's the it's, it's reason why we're getting a little bit of a better price here. Uh, so I'm happy to take the big free dog price with the Rockies in this spot. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you are not already. Uh, if you did like the video, of course, as always, thumbs up. Up. And again, we've been giving you some good good picks here. Record's really good. Um, you know, I, I do expect a, a downward trend to at least continue at some, uh, at least start at some point. But nonetheless, right now we are hitting at um, yeah, sub 75, 78%. So, uh, been good. Want to thank you guys for watching. Please drop any comments below. Last video was great with all the comments, so keep them coming. Happy to respond back and forth with you guys. Again, thank you again for taking the time to watch, and uh, I will be back soon.